Okay, hey everybody, this is Country Echoes. Today I'll be showing you my Reptile Expo pickups. So, during this expo, I was focusing mainly on getting supplies for the vivarium I'll be building <coughs> very, very soon for my Gargoyle Gecko Comet when she gets to an adult size. So, I'm just going to show you all the things I got. So, right here, I got some pillow moss, which will act as some ground cover in the vivarium and look it'll look really really nice right here I got some Pangea Crested Gecko food diet I've been told by several breeders that Rapashi, um is kinda low on calcium and doesn't taste as good for the geckos as Pangea does so I decided I'd give it a little try the breeder told me that this banana and papaya flavor is their favorite so hopefully my geckos will like that. And one of my favorite products um, is these magnet food ledges. They really aid in helping your gecko get off the, the ground when eating so they don't get food in their mouth, I mean dirt in their mouth. And they also look really, really neat. And it's a way to add more uh, space and climbing areas to the terrarium without having to put it all on the ground. Okay, so and right here is a really oops, sorry I bumped the camera. Really, really large cork tube. I'm gonna fill this up with dirt and put a plant into there. So it'll look very, very natural and it's also gonna look pretty cool. I'll probably put an ivy or a pothos in it. So it's a vining plant and they'll kinda come down all over the terrarium and finally I have this right here which is a just a cork flat rounded I'm also gonna fill this up with the dirt and use it as a planter just like that one down there so now I'm gonna kinda show you what this setup will look like just re very very quickly um, so behind you is a 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra that'll be my gargoyle gecko's adult size cage so I'm just gonna kinda give you the outline of what the terrarium is gonna look like be crawling on my knees. Okay. So that's going to go right there. So that will go right there. I'm going to fill that up with dirt and then put, I'll probably put a pothos in that one, that one right there. And then put some ivy in the taller one. So that's going to go in the corner. And I learned this trick from Triple O Reptile. Uh, shout out to them. You need to go check out their channel. They've got some very um, great videos with awesome information. So that's going to go right there. Like I said, I'm going to fill that with dirt, which will be a pretty good amount of dirt. But fill it with dirt and put some ivy in it. Type of uh, ivy. And then the magnetic feeding wedge. Let's get the magnets. These are, if you guys get these, and uh, you need to make sure that you're careful with them because these magnets are very strong. You don't want to squish your fingers. Is that level? Yep. Okay. So that's kind of what the terrarium is going to look like. I'll have a light on top, a, fi a light fixture on top. So it helps the plants grow. And in the center, I'll put... Let me show you what I mean by the center. Right here, I think you can see my finger. I'll put a very, I'm going to put a very uh, pretty bromeliad plant in there. Just to make it look really nice and give my gecko a lot of good climbing spaces. And finally, I want to tell you that I'm just going to cover the ground with this pillow moss. So it's going to be a very, hopefully a very, very nice looking naturalistic vivarium tank and I'll also I'm going to be doing a setup video with it so hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching this is country echoes I will see you later